Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow cucumbers in Aero Garden Bounty Elite and a few other Aero Gardens. This variety is called Iznik. It is a parthenocorpic variety and it doesn't require pollination. If you have any questions about pollination, I have a separate video explaining all about pollination, especially in the context of indoor gardening. Please find the link in the description below if you are interested. Coming back to my experiment, I am starting all seeds in Aero Garden Harvest for now. Once the seeds are germinated and the seedlings are well established, I will move one of the seedlings to Bounty Elite. I am placing one seed in each pod and starting with four pods in this Aero Garden Harvest. Alright, the garden is ready. As always, I will add water but I will not add nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. It's been 4 days and all seeds germinated. Wow! 100% germination rate. That's really awesome! Day 14, seedlings are coming very nice. In fact, they are plants now. It is time to make my bounty elite ready to transfer one of these plants. Day 20, plants are getting big. I have my bounty elite ready, so I will move one of the seedlings now. Alright, I just moved one plant to bounty elite. I decided to grow only one plant, even though we can manage two plants here. Cucumber plants love to have more space. So, I will go with just one plant and let it grow comfortably. Day 29, Plant is coming excellent. It started producing flower boards and many side branches. I see the side growth at every node. Some of the leaves are getting huge and blocking the light going on to the new growth. I also see that it is getting overcrowded at the base. So I am removing the older leaves at the bottom. Now it looks much better. Here is the close-up view of the flower birds. Day 35, lots of growth. I see the tips of the flowers are turning yellow, so they must be preparing to bloom. Vines are getting long, so it is time to add a trellis and train the vines to make use of trellis. Now that the plant is getting huge, I will start adding more nutrients. I will continue to add 12 ml of nutrients when the nutrition reminder show up every 14 days. Additionally, I will add 3 ml of nutrients every time when I refill the water in between. By the way, I have been using AeroGuardian nutrients and I will continue to use the same throughout this growth cycle. Day 36, flower birds are super close to bloom. This plant has flower birds at every node. And it is overloaded with tons of flower birds. One thing I recently learned with the cucumber plants is, if the plant is overloaded with so many baby cukes and plant is still growing tall, it will struggle to distribute the energy. As a result, we will see less success with the development of cucumbers. So I am going to slow down the growth of the plant by cutting the tips of the vines. With this, the plant will stop growing tall and shift the energy to develop the cucumbers. This is the best practice with cucumbers and I noticed great success with many cucumber varieties. I want lots of cucumbers, not a bigger plant. I am repeating the same process on all the vines. Day 37, I see two flowers at full bloom today. This is amazing. I see two more flower birds are getting ready. Very exciting. Day 45, plant is doing excellent. I see a couple of baby cucumbers showing a nice progress. Looks like these baby cukes survived and now they are getting matured. This is the first cucumber and it is pretty much at edible stage. I see 5 cucumbers are growing nice and they are about 2 inches long. 
Let's see how many of these will mature to the full size. Day 46, I am seeing significant progress day by day. This is awesome and very exciting. Day 55, look at these beautiful cucumbers. It has 4 full size cucumbers at the moment. I think these 2 cucumbers are matured and ready to harvest. However, I am going to wait a little longer to see if they can make any more progress. Third cucumber is also looking fully matured. This fourth cucumber looks little different in shape. Let's see if it will turn into a nice shape as it grows. Isnik cucumbers are naturally little short in size. I have Diva cucumbers here for reference. These Diva cucumbers are about 8 to 9 inches tall and equally fat as Isniks. But Isniks are about 6 to 7 inches tall. Anyways, the size of the cucumber doesn't matter. All I want is the plant should produce cucumbers and that is exactly what I am seeing here. Day 58. These two cucumbers are perfectly ready. It is 6 inches tall and 2 inches wide. I am going to harvest the first cucumber from this plant. Look at this. Beautiful. Day 61. It is time to harvest the second cucumber. I see three more cucumbers showing some progress. Looks like these are going to survive. It is important to harvest the cucumbers as soon as they are matured so that the plant can focus on producing more cucumbers. Day 72 this cucumber is fully matured. Look at the color pattern on this cucumber. It used to be dark green, but it is slowly turning into light green and yellowish. This is the clear indication of a fully matured cucumber. If you wait any longer, it will start ripening. So, it is time to harvest third cucumber from this plant. Day 73 I am harvesting a fourth cucumber from this plant. This was the one growing a little different in shape at the beginning, but it eventually turned into a perfect shape like all other cucumbers. Look at these beautiful color patterns on this cucumber. Green, yellow and white on the edge. It is looking so beautiful. Day 74, one more cucumber fully matured. So far, this is the biggest cucumber from this plant. It is 8 inches long and nearly 3 inches fat. Wow, this experiment is so satisfying. It's time to harvest fifth cucumber. Day 84, Plant is still doing excellent. It has four more cucumbers growing very nice. One, two, three, and the fourth one in the back. Lots of leaves are drying up, and I thought this plant has reached the end of the life. But I am seeing some new growth, and that is coming very healthy. Looks like this is not going to end anytime soon. However, this plant needs little maintenance at this time. Once I harvested all these cucumbers, I will dump the water, clean the bowl and start over with fresh water and nutrition. That always makes a huge difference in the growth of the plant. Since this is going to be a long journey, I will stop here for now and make a follow-up video with future growth. Overall, this is one of the extremely satisfying experiments. I already harvested 5 cucumbers and 4 more cucumbers are ready to harvest anytime from now. And all within 85 days. That's a wonderful yield. 
cucumbers are very consistent in size and the taste. It doesn't matter whether they are young or fully matured. They are very juicy and very tasty in all stages. I just used Aero Garden nutrients throughout this growth cycle. Nothing else. No other nutrients, no supplements. I just want to highlight two quick tips. Number one, control the growth of the plant. Don't let it go out of control. Cut the tips of the vines and stop the growth of the plant. Let it focus on the development of cucumbers, not the growth of the plant. Number two, increase the nutrients as the plant picked up the growth. Cucumber plants are heavy feeders and they are always happy with additional nutrients. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy aero gardening.